Shivyogi Siddharamaswara or Sideshwar or Siddharama was one among the five Acharya saint of the Lingayat faith. Sideshwar was a great contributor to Lingayat religion. He was a great mystic and a Kannada poet who was a part of Basavana's Lingayat revolution during the 12th century. His philosophy was one of service to mankind, the path of karma yoga. Siddharama was instrumental in saving the Vachana literature from destruction. Siddharama C. claimed to have written 68,000 Vachanas out of which only 1379 are available. Along with Basava, Alama Prabhu, Devara Dasamaya and Chanabasava, Siddharama is regarded as the most acknowledged and respected poets. Vachanakaras wrote in the genre of Lingayats, under Kannada literature from the mystic period. He shares the world view of other Vachana poets in his rejection of blind conventions of caste and sex discrimination and emphasis on realization through personal experience. He too borrows metaphors from diverse spheres of everyday life. Apart from Vachanas, he has written several devotional works in Tripadi. Writing three-line verse, used from the 7th century. Topic. Siddharama's life Siddharama was the son of Mudana and Sugaladevi and the first social spiritual guru. As part of Sharana revolution in the 12th century, he encouraged inter-caste marriages. He undertook many irrigation projects for the common good. He saw divinity in every existence of the world. Lord Shiva appeared in the guise of a Jangam Swamiji and called himself Malanath from Shrishail. The place where Malanath met Siddharam is known as Gurubay, which is now in front of the collector's bungalow in Solapur, Maharashtra. This Jangam requested Siddharama to serve him hot fried tender jowar. Next he demanded curd rice in order to soothe the burning sensation in his stomach. Siddharama ran to his home and asked his mother for curd rice. On his return to the fields, he searched for him, shouting, Malaya, Malaya, did not find him. There he inquired the Kawadi Jangams who were on a pilgrimage to Shrishail. They promised to show him Malaya. His quest for Malaya made him determined to go to Shrishail. At Shrishail he was shown the Malakarjuna Jyotirlinga, but this linga of black stone did not please him. Then he inquired every object and every people about the whereabouts of Malaya running over the length and breadth of Shrishail. Siddharama began to weep. His tears were collected in a tank in the ground, which presently became known as Nyan Kunda. When Siddhishwar reached the brink of a very deep valley called Rudrakada and peeping down he yelled out Malaya, Malaya, but he did not appear. As Siddharama was about to jump in the valley, Lord Malakarjan Malinath appeared and caught hold of him by his hands. He visualized Malaya telling him to return to Sonalij and work towards making it the second Srishailam. The Lord pacified him and offered Vajrakandal and Yoga Danda, which possesses the potential to fulfill all wishes. The Lord Malanath asked Siddharam to return to Sanalji to end grief on earth. The Lord Malanath assured him that he himself would appear in the form of Shivalinga in Sanalji. Shivayogi Siddharama returned to Sanalji. The ruler of that time Nanapa and his wife Chamala Devi gave him five kosa land as they were told to do by a vision of Lord Shiva. Shivayogi Siddharama consecrated 68 lingas by the holy hands of Jagadguru Kapilasada Panditardya, within the Panch Krash of Sanalji making Sanalji a Shetra, holy place. Siddharama returned to Sanalij and involved himself in public works. He dug lakes and built temples. He encouraged people to conduct mass weddings, and do other works, which would benefit mankind. 
Many people joined him in transforming Sonalij. Allama Prabhu's purpose is to make Sadarama worship Ishtalinga, hence he proposed that Sadarama should accompany him to Kalyana, which was then the home of Basavana and Ishtalinga worship, at Anubhava Mantapa Allama, Siddharama, Chenabasavana, Basavana and others discussed the need for Ishtalinga. Siddharama accepted Chenabasavana as his guru. Chenabasavana performed the Istalinga initiation for Siddharama. After his initiation, Siddharama made rapid progress along the path of Shiva Yoga, and in course of time succeeded Chenabasavana on Shunya Simhasana, or the Pontificial Throne. Siddharama participated in various discussions of the Anubhavamantapa. These discourses made him a Shiva yogi. He returned to Sonalij and entrusted his work to Havanahala Kalaya. He constructed a cave in the middle of a lake. There he practiced Shiva Yoga until he attained his Ikya state. <laughs> Shivyogi Siddharamishawara Samadhi at Solapur Shivayogi Siddharama consecrated 68 lingas by the holy hands of Jagadguru Kapilasada Panditargya, within the Panch Krash of Sanalji making Sanalji a Shetra, holy place. Siddharama returned to Sanalij and involved himself in public works. He dug lakes and built temples. He encouraged people to conduct mass weddings, and do other works, which would benefit mankind. Many people joined him in transforming Sonalij. He returned to Sonalij and entrusted his work to Havanahala Kalaya. He constructed a cave in the middle of a lake. There he practiced Shiva Yoga until he attained his Ikya state and entombed himself alive. Topic. Inscriptions His influence on several contemporaneous as well as subsequent sharanas is evident from many sources. His tradition has come down continuously from his time to ours throughout South India. Gifts and charities made in his name by kings and other rulers are recorded in inscriptions. He was an ardent believer in action. Though he was at first inclined towards visible works such as construction of tanks and temples, installation of lingas, establishment of alms housed etc., as calculated to lead him to heaven, he came later, under Prabhu's influence, to believe that such philanthropic works by themselves, any more than the possession of the third eye, the daily access to Kailasa and such other yogic accomplishments, would not lead to mukti. As apparent from his vachanas as well as from his biography by Raghavanka, his mastery of yoga was extraordinary. His meeting with Prabhu proved to be a turning point in his life, and his yoga was transformed into Shiva Yoga. Another important stage in his life is the initiation given him by Chenabasavana. His sojourn at Kalyana gave a new orientation to his life, living as he now did among numerous sharanas in Basavana's Anubhava Mantapa, and the feeling that he was God-made way for a spirit of utter submission to God. Another important point is the citing of Siddharama's vachanas in the inscriptions of the Sevuna period. It is not known under what circumstances these vachanas came to be a part of the Sevuna inscriptions. It is possible that Siddharama's vachanas became very popular and obviously the composers of the inscriptions wanted to enhance the value of them by quoting the vachanas of Siddharama. It is also possible that Siddharama specially wrote these two vachanas as a preamble to gifts made to the temples so that nobody would have the moral courage to go against the purpose of the grant, as it had the sanction of a great saint like Siddharama. Whatever might have been the real purpose of these vachanas, there is no doubt that they were important. Many Sevuna inscriptions contain the vachanas of Siddharama. 
A town by name Hilly in a Calcoat was another well-known Virasava center. There was a temple here dedicated to Kudala Sangamadeva which attracted pilgrims and devotees from Karnataka and other places. Siddharamas Vachanas Siddharama wrote Vachanas with the name, Kapilasiddha Malakarjuna. There are 1,679 Vachanas of his. In addition to Vachanas, Siddharama wrote Stotra Thrividigalu with, Yoginatha, as his signature. Raghavanka wrote Siddharama Charitra, the history of Siddharama. Jayadevi Thai Ligade has written Siddharama Purana. Notes Scholars like M. M. Kalbergi, M. S. Vrishabhendraswamy, M. S. Nagaraja Rao and others have studied this problem in great detail. It is said that at least 22 inscriptions of the Sevuna period contain Siddharamas Vachanas. Vid, M. M. Kalbergi, Sasanagalali Sivasaraneru, M. S. Vrishabhendraswamy, Sasanagalali Shri Siddharamana Vachanagalu The Karnatak University Journal, Humanities, Vol. X, p. 204, M. S. Nagaraja Rao, Karnataka Bharati, Vol. 3.4 and Vol. 4.3, pp. 3-14 and p. 101-112